Hello, we're at Adventureland again. Hello, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. We're at Adventureland. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're during this COVID-19 deal. Uh, mass is optional. Somehow I lost my mask between Iowa, uh, between Iowa 80 and here. So if Adventureland sells masks, we're going to buy a couple more because we will need them for Arnold's Park. Yes. Uh, definitely. All right, let's go inside and have some fun. Yes. Okay, remember last year, the list of rides are not opening today. Uh, Sky Ride, Raging River, Galleon, Phoenix. It's not open today. Yes, Phoenix was last year's new coaster. I've been here, they have some issues with it, but uh, it is a new coaster, it always happens. All the attractions yep. will close at 7. All attractions on Dragon Island Bridge will close at 7, so we gotta make sure we're done over there by 7 o'clock. Yeah. Okay, let's go on in. We got our tickets. Okay, due to COVID-19, this is what time we have. Let me do right here. That's our time. Normally these gates open up at 10 a.m. Because due to COVID-19, uh, they're allowing these open to spread the crowd out in case it gets crowded. Uh, parking lot is really thin right now. But right now we're just walking in and we'll check out uh, what we can. I'm pretty sure they got a drop line someplace, but we'll check some other stuff out. All right, real quick, we're going to show you some changes in the park first. Uh, one of the changes last year, remember this was, uh, they had a safety fence out here, so they installed a brand new fence line around the carousel. So it's more of like a park situation for the carousel. Uh, right now they're testing the rides, it's not 10 a.m. yet, so we will head this way. This way, that way, we're going to show you some changes that's going on with the park here at Adventureland this year. All right, we're just still waiting for the uh, rope to drop here real quick. Yes. Uh, ride cycles here at Adventureland. I've been hearing online, or been reading online, that they run about 10 cycles. Uh, then they do their uh, cleaning. And they'll run a, a ride uh, so, dry, so they can dry it off. Uh, we'll see how they do it actually as the day progresses. But we were reading online uh, through their official website that they run 10 ride cycles before they do their sanitation of the ride again. That All is right? what I've been hearing yeah. and too. So we'll find out. Right now, let's go check in the back of the park because there's some major changes taking place at the back of the park. Has something to do with a looping roller coaster not going to be in operation. Standing yeah. but not operating. But also, there's some construction going on back there. That's what we've been hearing too. Okay, there they go. Well, David, if you're watching this, uh, how you rate this uh, rope drop here? Uh, one through zero. Uh, one being high, zero being low. <laughs> okay, right there is the Dragon Roller Coaster Lift Hill. Uh, the Dragon is not in operation anymore. Uh, we'll see what's going on with the Dragon, but it's not in operation no more. No. So this would be the queue line to the Dragon roller coaster, but there's a banner blocking the door. And here's some clues what may be coming to Adventureland next year. And the biggest clue is going to be the new name of this coaster. Whatever it's going to be, we'll tell you in a little bit. Okay, there is a banner. There are two banners. One has been knocked down by some wind, but there's a banner hung up on that first one of the first two loops of the Dragon Roller Coaster. But look underneath what's on. But what's all that red stuff? And that's a new track. Yeah, that's a new track for something. And I'll it. tell you. If, I'll tell you in a little bit what they're going to put in with that red track. Someplace it's going to involve that red track. This is why the Dragon is not in operation. We'll show you why it's not in operation. Okay, we're looking at the two loops. As you see, the one with the banner. The other banner is off of there. That's, uh, this is why the Dragon is not in operation this year. If you notice in this video, compared to last year's video, uh, there's something missing why, why the dragon is not running this year. There's no brake run. Uh, there's no brake run. See those uh, concrete pillars? That used to be the brake run for the, of the dragon roller coaster. And if you look over there, we'll come over here. That black dirt area, you see in that area over there? That used to be the figure eight finish of the dragon roller coaster. They ripped it out. And that explains. What's going in? 
There's more of that red track right there. What's going in there? It's good. I think it's a new coaster. Yeah, it is going to be a new coaster. That's going to be the clue. That's one of the clues they gave out here at Adventureland. Yes. And we'll tell you in the next clip what is going in. It is officially announced about a month ago on the website uh, here at Adventureland. We'll tell you what it is on the next clip. Okay, as you see, the tornado just went off the lift hill here. But behind us, this black dirt behind us, next to the tornado brake run, this black dirt right here, there's going to be a new home. Get this, an S and S 4D free spin coaster. Uh, this is the very same coasters that Six Flags Parks has, like the Jokers, the Batmans, and that. Uh, Google up S and S 4D free spin coaster and look at one of the uh, Six Flags Great America models. That's what eventually is getting here next year in this plot of land. So obviously the queue line for this ride will be probably right in here, I'm guessing. I'm only guessing. We'll, we got a plan to stop here next year after our, after our Amtrak trip. We're planning to stop here next year to see if that prediction holds true. But yeah, if you look up there, the tornado just pulled in in the brake run. And you know what? I'm going to try to give that a ride right now. Okay, see you in a little bit. I'm going to get on the tornado. Okay, meet me at the exit. We're getting on the tornado. stalled out right there. Oh, it did almost stall out. Oh, it's not going. That could be cool. Oh. Okay, uh, we, I just got off a front row ride on the tornado. Yeah. Uh, all seats, of course, Tornado always had uh, seats assigned anyway. Uh, most of these parks will have assigned seating because of COVID-19. But Venezuela always had a history on the Tornado, the Dragon, and a few other roller coasters here. There's always been uh, assigned seating. Outlaw was pick your own, but because of COVID-19, uh, it's assigned seating also because they want to make sure there's, there's separating people every two seats. So if you fill front row, uh, they'll skip every other row will be filled unless you're in a group, uh, basically. Uh, if you're in a group, you're allowed to sit in a group. So if you're in a group of 24, guess what? You got the whole train for you guys, for yourselves. As you know, the walkways here at Adventureland has always been there. Well, this is new this year. It's a patio. We'll check it out later. Actually, let's check it out right now. But it is a patio. <laughs> this is the entrance to the Raging River because of COVID-19 and short staff here at Adventureland. A lot of rides and attractions will be closed for the season. The chairlift ride is closed for the season. Yes. We'll show that ride. This is what we failed to show you last year. Is this little food court here? Oh, I see the Phoenix. It is gone. Yep, we'll get to there in a second. There's a uh, this barbecue stand right here. This used to be a boat ride at one time. It used to go all the way around the lake before they input the Raging River in and uh, Dragon's Island in. Uh, soon be renamed uh, Dragon's Island, uh, basically. It's, just, uh, it's not going to involve the dragon anymore eventually. Okay, Phoenix is running. Notice the trains, they are painted different colors this year to match the theme of the ride of the Phoenix. Last year they were blue trains, all this year they're all red trains. And yes, it is wide open. This year. So the sign out front lied. But it is running right now. Sounds like it's running good. 
and it's last year's new ride. That's the Phoenix roller coaster. See, there goes another one going up to the team lift right there. See? Okay, that is the Phoenix roller coaster right there behind us. And of course, uh, because of the restraint system they may have here, I probably will not be able to ride. So I'm going to do a lot of walking today in this park and show you the atmosphere more than riding the rides anyway. And I think we'll be using the water park, but we're not going to film anything special in the water park uh, this year on that. So we'll just, uh, I do have my GoPro with me. I'll, I'll make a decision later. I always be the executive decision. Right now, we're going to show you one more change. That was one of the changes here at Adventureland. Uh, they repainted the trains to make it more themed to the Phoenix uh, name, uh, basically. Last year, they were blue cars. This year, they're red cars. Here's a classic ride here at Adventureland. It's been here since the park opened up. It's the teacup ride. We'll be going on the Ferris wheel here real quick. Well, there's a big line right now. But we'll just go to the Ferris wheel. But this ride, there's something missing right here. Remember last year we walked past here? Yeah. This used to be the splash over ride. They ripped it out. And we were suggesting, we were suggesting on the Facebook page, a couple of other rides. But because of the space between here, the main midway, and the hill to the train, I thought the Larson Looper will work better here than what everybody else is mentioning. Someone said Wave Swinger, but they'll have to replace uh, the Balloon Race, which we might ride today. Yes. We didn't ride it last year. Nope. And that. But here's the main midway. This is the main boulevard for all, where all the most of the rides are on. We said the gallon is closed today. Uh, that was right now holding true, but they lied about the Phoenix, right? Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, the Sky Ride on both ends, of course, it operates on both ends. Unfortunately, the Sky Ride is closed for this season. I heard two reasons lack of staff and they're ordering parts for it. Today so, one of the two. So, I'll let you guys take a pick. Right now, there's, like I said, there's a lot of rides not open. There's a lot of rides, games, and a lot of stuff not open today because of uh, staffing issues when they reopen, uh, basically. So right now we're going to get on the Ferris wheel. We just got to make sure we are understanding this. It's not really, there is red lines uh, marked every six feet. There's a red line right there where my foot is on. So you can't really see it, but right now we're queuing for this big thing. Angie, I think we're going to get a nice breeze up here. That's right. I was getting warm. I decided I better... Get a nice breeze. Hey, Chuck. Oh, look at the view. All right. There's plenty of... Plenty of... Plenty of camping spot for us. Uh, in case you guys are asking, uh, no, we did not camp this year. Uh, because we came in town too late last night. After yesterday's uh, little video. Yeah. It lasted forever. Uh, oh, this breeze feels good. Yep. We got a hotel room off in that direction this year at Motel 6, over there by the, uh, uh, over in that general direction is Motel 6, uh, by that truck stop over there. That's our accommodations this year, at least, right? Yes. Okay. So, we did bring the tent, and we'll have it later, hopefully, uh, we'll have a tent up tomorrow somewhere in Lake Okaboji. But right now, uh, here's Adventureland for the ones who are new to the channel. This is a family-owned park here in Central Iowa. And yes, they are copying some rides uh, from other parks. They stole the idea that Windseeker ride, uh, they sold that from Cedar Fair. And that's how they're going to steal the s and s for the free spin from uh, Six Flags when they get that installed. But yep, yeah, there's... I won't be able to ride the... Uh, the Storm Chaser, that's that wing sinker ride right there because I barely fit in it last year. And since I'm having since I had trouble riding getting in a tornado, I knew I was not gonna get in the restraints on the wind seeker ride here. Or they call it storm chaser here. So we're just gonna do what I can do and that's it. And just make do out of it. 
I got to lose a lot of weight. Right? Yes. All right, we're on the Adventureland's A train, which I think they re renamed it uh, IMT Express, uh, basically. IMT is a local railroad here in Iowa. And here we go. We are taking off from the station. We did, it we did this last year, too. Yeah, we did this last year. Yeah, so what it is, we just go around. There's a storage bin for this train overnight. And we head back on the other side of the park. Uh, it does not go all the way around the park. And someone suggested it should. It should. Yeah, the, the old trolley ride I mentioned last year did. And we'll show you, for the ones who are new to the channel, uh, we'll show you what I meant. Yeah, we're gonna go around that way. That's the storage bin we'll be going through. This is where they stored the train at the end of the night. I don't remember seeing that building last year. It's coming. That building over there. By the hotel. That's no. new. Is that new? That's new. Okay, there's like a, a hill mound right here I mentioned last year. The trolley ride used to run all the way around the park at one time. And now we're inside this uh, storage tunnel. Looking down at the uh, main entrance as we are going fly by the Main Street Station in the front of the park. And there's the main entrance. Oh, by the way, we didn't buy tickets at the ticket booth this year. We bought them at a local uh, financial center. That's how we got the discount tickets. That's how we got in uh, this year again. Yes. And that. We'll be seeing this a little bit again as we go down around the other side. Yeah, there's a couple of rafts stuck right here because that's not in operation this year. When they do get it operated, they do have to do a lot of cleaning out of that uh, at, on that river drop. Yeah. All right, we're crossing the bridge here. We were over here. Holy cow, we got a visit over here. And you just pointed out this big thing. Look at that. I think it's fake. It is fake. That's got to be fake. Yep, it is. It's fake. It's fake. Okay, Coastal Credit in there. That's that building. That's the Coastal Credit. We're going to ride it? I think we'll ride it, but we're not going to show it this year. We showed it last year. Uh, check out last year's video from the very time we showed you inside the underground roller coaster. Uh, dark ride. And right now we're going to go past the Phoenix one more time. We'll just get some train shots here. Well, we'll see. Right now we're just getting some shots here of the uh, of the Phoenix first drop. Nice. They said it's just going past the Phoenix right there. It, it, like I said, it is running. It's like gate fly. They, this used to be the deer flinger. They renamed it parachutes. The other day. Yeah, just the other day, right? Yeah. Uh, right now, the Ryan cycle on that one just ended. And we'll probably get on the teacups here uh, later. And we are arriving at Main Street Station here at Adventureland. If anybody noticed uh, from last year's videos and of course this year's video, if anybody noticed, it does have a Disney look uh, at Adventureland because uh, Walt Disney's brother, uh, Roy Disney, uh, had some input on this park when they built this park back in 1973. That's the end of this ride. And like I said, uh, just getting off the A train ride. Uh, the first line Main Street is uh, designed after Walt Disney, uh, Disneyland and Walt Disney World. So it was uh, Disney inspired just in the Main Street area. The only thing that's missing was the castle at the end of the street, uh, basically. So, uh, wonderful carousel here. We're on our way uh, for lunch. Uh, this time, we're still going to eat the same place we had last year. But guys, no souvenir cups this year. No souvenir cups this year. You heard Angie. No souvenir cups this year. Because we just got one. Uh, just the other day. Yeah. 
But right now, we're on our way for lunch here at Main Street. And like I said, it has a Disney feel to this Main Street because Disney helped, well, Roy Disney helped uh, design this uh, for Adventureland. The only thing that's missing down at the end is uh, a castle. Or, if we're in Iowa, at least a silo. A barn or a silo. Okay, we're in Doc's and, oh, Doc and Leone's again here at Adventureland Park. Yep. I'm having a three piece chicken dinner right there. And she's got a meatloaf, mashed potatoes and gravy right there. So we're going to eat up good, guys. This might be the only meal I might be having all day. Who knows? Uh, soda for today. That's our first one. And we'll chow down. about shout out time here on the channel and we're waiting for that certain moment hey we're standing behind yes the monster roller coaster behind us you just saw in the last clip shout out to Dang. as soon as we get the okay from our no. monster roller coaster there it goes right there as she went by and it's shout out time to screaming demon Dave Coaster Dude Coast and, and Carla. Carla and everybody else who likes a musical park ride. Brandon, this is for you too. <laughs> Passing the Dodgems in that building, that's the bumper cars they call it a frantic freeway. And we mentioned earlier in this video, kind of funny with not seeing the sky ride here, not in operation. That's the sky seat that goes right above us. We got the Falling Star ride down that way. As you see in operation down there. Scrambler and balloon race uh, over there. Okay, Angie, what game are you gonna play now? This game. This game with the scale? Yeah. All right, let's do it. What would it be, an eight or waist? Wait. Okay. Step, step up, step up. Step up there. So you look you over. Way off. <laughs> okay. Go pick your prize. Well, I said 125. 125? Wow, that's a little thin for her. That's like 20 years ago. Check which one? Doesn't matter. Just pick one out. Okay, there you go. I played this game. I played it last year for six, ba for six balls for five bucks. And all I have to do is get. In the red, win a small, blue and medium, yellow, win a large, and those are the prizes this year. Yep. All right? Check our melon. All right, don't get too close. But yeah, we're gonna try to win a prize in there. Last year I won, so watch the ball. Missed that one. Missed that one. Missed that one. Red, that means a small. Got a small one, guys. Yep. I got a small one. I got two more balls. Right, there you are. Oh! We got a small one this year. Yes. <laughs> 
We got a small one this year. We shrunk in size this year. Hey, we left the county fair section of Adventureland. Coming out with winners. <laughs> I shrunk in size this year. Angie went up in size because she increased her money value for $5. I played for $5 and this is what I got for my 5 bucks. So Angie did a little bit better this year because she uh, up her bet basically at the at the game, right? Yes. So uh, we're good. So we're saying show your prize. We may not show it again. Yeah, there's our prizes this year. Look at this one. This is the outlaw here, guys. Custom Coasters International when it was built. This was Mike Budley's uh, prototype ride. This is Salt Mill uh, Flash. This is one of the only rides in the United States. Uh, the other ones are located in Europe. You're right, it's a raft ride. As you see, a raft is going up the lift hill right now. You do not get wet very much on this ride at all. But there's a lot of spinning action on this ride. Once those raft riders goes up there and disappear, they'll disappear a little bit and we'll see them come out spinning really hard on that as they're on their way down. So there they go, up and over, and they're going to go around like a normal water slide. This is in the dry park, if you call it a dry ride, but it's pretty dry because I never got wet on this ride. Here they come spinning. See how they spin? Oh, if they got wet on that splash, I'd be happy. <laughs> They'd be happy. Okay, we're looking at the Sidewinder here. Here at Adventureland Park. It's a smaller pendulum ride. And it does pack a punch according to the riders. They said this is more forceful than those bigger ones at Cedar Fair Parks. And those bigger parks. Because this packs a punch. But that is uh, the Sidewinder right there. And we're going to have to hit the layer. By one of the fastest flat rides here at Adventureland. Okay, we're at the Lighthouse ride. That's what they call it here at Adventureland. But we all know that the carnivals and fairs uh, a hurricane ride. No, it'll go higher than that. There it goes. Gotta hear that sound. Yeah, that's pretty good. Not better than it was last couple of years. Yeah, this one is called the Lady Luck. It's just ending its ride cycle somewhat. But I think it is the full ride cycle, but it is the Lady Luck. It's the biggest roulette wheel we're ever going to see. This is what we probably forgot to film last year. Back around there is the, uh, of course everybody knows that, what that is. And of course the monster. Makes a nice photo op right here. Okay, we're on the world's famous Adventureland's teacups. And we got this whole ride for ourselves. Ready for a ride for you guys? Yes. Let's go. Let's hit it. Here we go. Like I said, we got the whole ride for ourselves. Woo! Yeah! Right? Yeah! <laughs> this is what you call social distancing. We got the whole ride for yourself. I've done this in the early 70s. What? Well, 
this by myself. <laughs> Look at there. It's our right operator. <laughs> it's our right operator right there. Doing a good job. You notice it's a figure eight. balloon race here. Angie chose not to ride this because what happened earlier. So we're riding it. Uh, we'll be angling here in a second because this bike does angle somewhat. So it's almost like a yo-yo. This is kind of like a swing ride. Uh, Years ago, when the park first opened up, used to be a uh, flying scooters here, uh, like uh, the ones they have at Cedar Point and uh, at other parks. Eventually, I used to have one here at one time, but they took it out with this one, uh, the San Perla, uh balloon race in. the underground. It looks like in normal days it's a 15-20 minute wait. Because of COVID it's usually it's going to be about 30. This attraction has limited hours today so it may shut down early but it has limited uh, half capacity so that long line would be a, a 15 minute wait. It must be a 30-40 minute wait. But that is the underground. Yes, it is a coast of credit. We all did it last year on the channel. Oh, that's right, we did. Ah, we are looking at a fallen star here. Hope you guys make a wish out there. Now it's going to go the other way. And that's the Fallen Star. This is the SNS Space Shot here at Adventureland. It's a single tower ride. Not as tall, but it's one of the tallest single towers in the area. Problem is, trees is blocking the view of this ride. This ride is about to take off in a little bit. There they go. Just like that. Dave Coaster Dude, I know you like the rides like this, but this is what you can ride all day. You can do it here. Probably at Cedar Point nowadays. Yeah, because the trees is hiding the, the ride. Just like last year. Our piggy is closed. It's been closed all day. Also a reminder that you cannot hold it in your hands while riding. I said piggy had tried to eat my hand last year. If you have a cell phone that must be left on the ground or placed in a pocket during the ride. Thank you. Walking along this way and we're going to have time for what we call beer 30. I'm trying something in this souvenir glass. This is doesn't look like Miller Lite. It's a, um, it's a local brew beer. It's called Iowa Eagle, American Lager. Wow. That's not Miller Lite, that's not Bush Light, that's not Bud Light, that's Nine Cores. That is a whole, that is a uh, locally brewed beer. So we're gonna try it. $15 and it's $9 refill, so. For the season. What? I think for the season, is it? Yeah, I think it is, but uh, I don't know what it is, but we're not coming back. Uh, this is the only time we're here, so I can only have one more because the park's gonna be closed in less than two hours. Yes. Yeah. So I think we're done riding after this, all right? So uh, maybe one more mild ride. Ferris wheel sounds good? Yeah, Ferris wheel sounds good. Angel was pointing out that there's an otter here. Right back in there, they said that's an otter. 
see it? You see, that's an otter or some other animal right back in there. Wow. Okay, it was confirmed by one of the Adventureland employees. It was a mink. Those were minks in front of us. There was two of them. Two. And now they're gone. They're out of here. They're, they say they're here almost every day now. Uh, two minks. Those all no mink coats out there. Don't think about mink coats now, okay? Leave these minks alone. They're Adventureland's minks. They bought, they're a new mascot in town. Here at Adventureland. Right, Angie? Yep. Leave those minks alone. Leave the mink coats alone. Leave the mink coats alone. That's right. It's a mink coat with legs. No ice cream, but I'm having a chocolate overload. Yes, that is a chocolate overload. Brown, brownies, uh, chocolate ice cream, hot fudge, uh, Oreo cookies, whipped cream, and a cherry. Does that look yummy? Sugar rush. All right, this is our last ride oh. together, right? Yeah. And you're gonna do one more by yourself. Yes, I'm gonna do the carousel. You wanna film it or want me to film you? I'll let you film it. Okay. Yep. And we got somebody chanting down below us this year, which is good because uh, I was telling the ride up here that back in the late 80s over at the Galleon, that the ride that was closed all day, it was actually, it was probably, actually they're behind us right now. Yeah. But uh, uh, the last ride of the night at, at 10 p.m. we had an argument about Miller Lite. It, one side of the ride chose Tastes great. The other half of the ride, the one swung high, uh, said less filling. So as the boat swing back and forth, the height of one ride, on one side of the ride, they yelled out, tastes great. The other half of the ride said less filling. So who won that argument? I don't know. I forgot. You wasn't there. I know. Angie and Chuck, Chuck Show. All right. <laughs> Check, did you? We've been on it for about five years, uh, in October. How many subs you got? Uh, over 1,400. Oh, I'm sure, and I've never done YouTube. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> if I got you on the picture, I got you. Yeah? <laughs> Sweet, bro. Hope you have good luck. Yep. Okay, a little deja vu from four years ago. Angie insisted on the last ride here at Adventureland Park and she chose to ride this carousel at the front of the park on the Main Street area of Adventureland as we wrap up this video. Right now the ride, one ride cycle is getting off. Angie should be next and we'll watch her ride. How about that? And the carousel is off and running and Angie is on that thing. There she goes. There she goes again. Okay, the park is closing down. We're getting kicked out of here real quick. That means one thing. We need to close this video out. It's so even it was a long day, we did not do much. We kind of took in the atmosphere today. Uh, it was still fun. I hope you guys enjoy what we have produced for you guys. That was awesome ice cream back there behind us. We found the new subscribers. Yep, we got some new subscribers. Hope they say subscribers uh, because we got some good stuff coming up within a year or two. Uh, basically, the all the rides are shutting down early Holy cow. because Next everybody year. is fleeing the park. 
Next head year home. is our Amtrak trip. That's right, Amtrak trip next year. Right now, let's go ahead, wrap up this video. Please like, share, subscribe. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. We'll see you later. Bye. And we'll see you somewhere en route uh, from a hotel room, from a motel room, to uh, Jackpot Junction, possibly. Yes. Where we gotta stop at Lake Okoboji first. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.